Right now, a new controversial plan to fund the Brent Spence Bridge. It's coming from a U.S. congressman who says it's very simple. Good evening. Represent Representative Thomas Massey of Kentucky says the Federal Highway Trust Fund isn't funding just highways, and it should. A portion of the fund is pulled for things like bike lanes and sidewalks, and that money, he says, could be better spent on the bridge. Not on your sides, John Genovese joins us live now with why some tonight are saying not so fast. John? Julie, it's something we've been talking about for months. It even became a campaign issue. We heard over and over how to fund a fix up for the Brent Spence Bridge. Congressman Massey says his bill would do just that by cutting projects. Some say we need more than ever. The money's running out. The representative Thomas Massey says he has the solution. His bill, known as the Drive Act, would defund local bike, sidewalk, and mass transit projects, putting those federal dollars into fixing infrastructure, things that could include the Brent Spence Bridge. The idea sounds reasonable, but then when you think about it, you know, as we spend more money on highways, we build more and bigger highways. It became, becomes more expensive to maintain said highways. Jason Reeser says this bill needs to hit the brakes. He owns Reeser Bicycle Outfitters in Newport. His concern is planning for the future. If we use all the money just for building and maintaining and, and building more and more roads for more and more cars, we're going to have way too many roads to maintain. It's going to become way more expensive every year to come back. And, and fix those roads. But Massey says, quote, there is no longer enough money to maintain our nation's critical highways and bridges while also funding local projects. He says falling gas prices and more fuel efficient cars have run out tax dollars for the federal fund. His bill would shift around $9 billion. Right now, Cincinnati is constructing its own $150 million streetcar project. Projects that Reeser says he'd like to see more of. Less Americans are using cars to get around. They're using you know, public transit, they're using bicycles, they're going by foot, they're moving back towards the cities. So, you know, to not, to not take care of that, to not encourage that, it just seems short-sighted. Now, a spokesperson for the streetcar project told us around 20% of Cincinnatians do not own a car. They depend on public transit to get around. This bill would, of course, need to be approved by both the House and the Senate before it goes into effect. For now, reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side.